Today is March 24th, 2016. Just today I went to see the chiropractor about the, the x-rays um, and my spine. Turns out um, I had like a bit of sclerosis or something like that. So I had to get that readjusted. Um, so that's going to be going on for another six weeks, two sessions a week. Um, got a bit of issues here, I'm just under the base of my skull. Um, hopefully all these things in relation to my spine get fixed. Not because I'm worried or anything, but um, he was telling me that a lot of the, the issues that I've been having over the past couple of years have been related to, I guess, what's going on with my spine. So I'm really hoping that that'll somehow fix it. Um, it's very stressful because I have to fork over $660 of my own money in one payment for the six weeks, so the 12 sessions. It's not cheap, especially on what I earn and how much, I guess, like I'm trying to save for. I do plan on moving out on my own. I've mentioned that in a few of these clips. Um, in When my lease is up, I want to move out and move by myself. I'm tired of living with people. Which leads me to the topic of being in a long distance with my girlfriend and the struggles of, I guess, trying to figure out where we're going to end up. And I, I guess today just got really overwhelming. Speaking to my mom about the chiropractor, she's worried, she thinks all of these things, which is fair, she's my mother, she's, she has every right to worry. But it's so hard sometimes when the people you love the most are the ones that try to guide your life. And... I get where everyone's coming from, you know, my mum is worried about a chiropractor because obviously my back, um, my girlfriend, I guess she just wants me to move to Sydney for the relationship, you know, like, and for more opportunities, but it's tough, it's tough trying to accept that if these decisions are really the best for me. Like, I'm 22, and it's not super old, or it's not super young either. It's at that period of my life where I'm old enough to make my own decisions and worry about the consequences and freak out, I guess. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's hard having people you care about tell you that you can't do this, or it's not good to do that, or it's not good to do this. Because then it makes you feel like you're not capable of making good decisions or you're not capable of making the right decision and in the example of like my long distance relationship I don't want to move to Sydney because it's financially not good for me right now and I can't guarantee that sense of security that I'll be a good there that I'll be okay there mentally um, I'm having a hard time as it is being here mentally I wouldn't want to put a label on myself and say that I'm depressed, but pretty much a lot of my life I've been suffering with on and off thoughts and issues and stuff, and I'm sure everyone goes through it, but man, it is so hard to just go completely from 100 to 0, and I hate that the people that are doing that to me, the people that I'm not so th I get where people are coming from trying to tell me all these things because they love me but sometimes people need to reevaluate why they say things and instead of telling me where I should be going and what I should be doing you should just be letting me and supporting me in what I want to do but I guess it's true what they say no matter how someone loves you no matter what goes on no matter who is there to support you the only one that really matters is that you support yourself and you believe in yourself 
because everyone else can just drop off your face well, off the face of the earth they can just drop off being connected to you <sighs> dear future race you're going through some tough times right now chin up buddy at the end of the day it's just us we're the only ones that can rely on each other. <laughs>